It seems only a matter of time before NATO airstrikes rain down on Kosovo, and some lawmakers are questioning whether President Clinton is the right man to be leading our military. We're joined by retired Army Colonel David Hackworth and former New York Congressman Joseph Diaguardi, the president of the Albanian American Civic League. Good to have you both on hand. Your first time, Congressman. Yes. And Colonel, good to see you once yeah, again. Yeah, hi, buddy. And we, I think we agree about some of this, actually. Yeah, because I was I'm, surprised some of the I'm not sure said. we should be going in. I don't know what our strategic interests are, as Sean points out. So maybe my first question should be to you, be to you Congressman, because you favor this. What are we going to accomplish, and what's our exit strategy? No, we need one. If we don't do something now, we will lose total credibility, the United States, NATO. We have let a two-bit dictator run us into the ground. How many times run can us? we accept well, the United States? Promi yeah, promises. How many promises has he made? Holbrook's been there, uh, Dayton Peace Accords, and by the way, he listened to Milosevic and kept the Albanians away from the table at Dayton, and that sowed the seeds of the problem we got right now. If, and how many times in between did Milosevic say he was going to do something and didn't do it? If we go in and we embolden the guerrillas by our president, can that lead to more bloodshed possibly? Bad war. We shouldn't go there. Where they does not wag the dog. It's going to be known as Clinton Cemetery. I know you don't you this don't believe is, it's wag the dog, do you? I don't know. I say it's not wag the dog. It's going to be known as Clinton Cemetery. There's no reason for it. Uh, military power will eventually prevail. But the American people have to understand they are going to pay an incredible price. Let me ask you something, Congressman. Would you go there and fight? Let me say this. L I'm asking what, you what a question, this yes or cost? no. I mean, if I Would am... you send your son? Excuse me. Would you send your son? What does this because country that's stand the problem. for? What it, does this country stand for? It doesn't stand for being... This is a mindless it, it dictator stand, who has killed thousands of it, people already. Right, it doesn't stand... And we're going to let him just go and keep wait, doing this? It doesn't stand for jumping into every swamp in town. In my life, for the last 53 years, that's what we've been doing. I started out there 53 years ago fighting Serbian soldiers. I fought them for four years. One thing that most people don't understand in this country is we don't understand our enemy. That was our mistake in Vietnam. That was our mistake in... W and Congress, right, if, if we go in here... Well, let me how say do we, something, how, this is ahead. important. Do you know what the Kosovo Liberation Army is? It's a homegrown group of people that wants to defend the villages, their people. No one came to their defense. They would right. want to defend. They're willing to die for freedom. Why don't we arm them? Con well, Congressman, I wanted to ask They're you a question. They're being armed, and I should think that much of the arms comes from the drug business, Congressman. Where did you get that from? Uh, from very what lobby good did, sources. What, the Serbian right, let, lobby? Let, yeah. me, let me jump in. Uh, Congressman, I want to go back to Colonel Hackworth's uh, question, if I can, here for just a second. And that is, would you send your son, would you go fight over there? Is, and how do you explain to the, the, the mothers and fathers of American servicemen that may come home in body bags, why, there's, what, why did their son or daughter give up their life? Well, let me say this. If we don't do it now, and the president has made this case to the American people, you can be sure that many more well, soldiers will have to be committed to this thing. All right, and many here's another solution. What about, we talked earlier about the Mujahideen in Afghanistan and, and the Nicaraguan freedom fighters, the Contras, uh, against the Sandinistas, let me ask you, the Kosovo Liberation Army, what about giving them the munitions Absolutely. and the money and let them fight their own Senator battle? Mitch and, 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 said get, that. and you support that? Absolutely. Well, well, why then, haven't we done that? You think, it would Colonel? be over with in five minutes. Excuse me. Uh, they, they are willing never, to die for freedom. The, yeah, Nobody the has come to their Army, support. It would be no match one on one with Kosovo freedom fighters. Ridiculous. Okay. What, what You're a military done, strategist. What needs to be done is in place. The United Nations, much as we did in Cy Cyprus, much as my regiment and British regiments did for nine years over the Trieste issue, we stayed there, we kept the All Serbs right. away. Colonel, no, no, I don't want to enjoy it, but, yeah. but, but what I want to ask you, but because you know, has the here, well, we got a problem a European here. War. There's, this can there's spill 40, into Macedonia. Here's what we know presently. 40,000 troops that are armed, that have been involved in the civil conflict, that have a greater interest than any U.S. troops that may eventually end up on the ground there. Colonel, you've been to this terrain. It's mountain terrain. It's not like Iraq. Surg surgical strikes aren't going to work. Terrible weather, low ceilings. Uh, Give us the military. The, we've got the technology. very, very determined uh, force. Congressman, with all due respect, Congressman, wait a minute. Based Milosevic on what he's saying, very dangerous. Based oh, on what I he's saying, he's go. talking he's about the terrain, man. talking about 40,000 dug in, and my military experts, Colonel, you back me up, tell me you need a 10 to 1 ratio. 3 to 1. Three three to to one. one. Okay, yeah. 3 to 1. That, then we're talking about 120,000 U.S. troops minimum to go in there on the ground, ultimately to be successful, based on what he's saying. I mean, is that how far you take, take this? One, do you send U.S. troops on the ground take there? one step at a time. Right now, what we need to do is to take away this man's 
capability of hurting the thousands of people he's hurting right now. And that means to take away his military might. He doesn't deserve that kind Congress, of sophisticated weaponry. We can, can we, and can we, we can take it out. Congressman, We've can got we, the sophisticated Can we do it simply with an airstrike? airstrike? Is airstrikes going to be enough, or we have to go in with ground troops? Phase one is airstrikes. But is phase one going to do it, or do we have to go in again? We don't know. Right now... Do you really think airstrikes well, alone are going to solve the probably problem? Probably not. So but, then we have, to prepare the we have to be then prepared to send in ground troops NATO, and further risk American me, NATO lives? NATO is committed to do this, and we are part of NATO. And we have to contribute our part, 15 percent. When you say we're, we're, this we, are not, you talking for the, the Albanians? States. Are you talking, no, I'm talking for about, the Americans? And by the way, are you willing to witness... Uh, Colonel, to, there are 400,000 Albanian Americans right you, here. So what? You what do you mean? You're part of willing, America, too. Are you willing to risk American lives? to fight a war, which, let me tell you something, How the major, have, let me, may I just finish? Ahead, the yeah. major lesson of Vietnam was don't get involved in, in, a, in a civil war. Another lesson it's was not make sure, it, it certainly no, is. certainly is. No, it, the next thing was, thing was had, the, had its own, had its own self-administration, had an equal vote to Serbia. Well, you know. Kosovo in its you constitution say, had an equal vote to Serbia 15, in the Confederal you presidency. You say 15%. We just saw on the screen, we're sending 250 out of 400 aircraft. Fine. That is right. not 15 percent. Right. We're at much because greater risk than any of the other And country. that's our strength, intelligence and, and military technology. That's what we're we taking the it. greatest risk of any other country. Well, what but we're taking a risk with technology. We know that we have the right, technology the to take out those positions. With no signs that the fightings will subside in Kosovo, NATO gave the green light for airstrikes, which could begin at any moment. Some members of Congress are questioning whether the United States' national interests are at stake. And President Clinton's foreign policy has come under fire before, most recently, over the continued showdown with Iraq. Does President Clinton have the right stuff to lead the military into another conflict? John Kerry, Nebraska, Vietnam vet, in battle himself. I'm very pessimis pessimistic we can drive the Serbs out. Pete Domenici, Senator. What we're trying to enforce may not be enforceable. Sim similar comments, John, John Kyle, John McCain, yep. Steve Forbes, John K Right on down the line. Have, can you ever, you, you have more experience, 53 years in and around the military. Have we ever, at bombing, through bombing, ever won a war? Not in Germany in World War II, mm -hmm. not in Korea, not in Vietnam, not in eight years mm -hmm. of, of the Gulf activity in Iraq. With only way is a combination of Navy, ground troops, and air. And that means ground troops will come in. I have no question that NATO will prevail. A week or two, they will blow away the air defense, and they will be able to make a forced Thank entry you. down through Macedonia and put a belt around Kosovo. But then the, the, right. what I worry about is what I experienced for four years up on the, up on the confrontation on the Trieste border, which was a constant nickel and diming and attacks by the Serbians. Right. The same thing the Germans experienced well, they took 700,000 casualties between 40 and 45. Right, Colonel, let me ask you this, because the president's a student of history. You're a student of history here, and, and you're bringing out these, these incredible things. You speak to military people every day. You speak to the... how many? At least 500 today. At least 500. Yeah. What are they saying about this? And are people okay. suggesting that the president, who now his legacy is Monica Lewinsky, are they telling you that maybe the president, he knows historically through special events, World War One, Two, ending the, ending uh, the Cold War. That's how they get their legacy. Is he trying to get his legacy okay. back? Uh, I don't know. He's going to go down like LBJ, who wanted to be known as f for the Great Society and went mm -hmm. down for Vietnam. So maybe Monica will go away and will be remembered as as Clinton Cemetery. Uh, I, I think that it's a mistake to go in there. We're committed. The president's been caught in a bluff. And he's going to, we are going to pay a terrible price. And it's ironic that those people who were the draft dodgers right. during the Vietnam era, Thank and you. I'm talking about Here the National go. Security Advisors and the President, who are now the ones who are saying, we will commit young men Amazing. and women Absolutely. to a war that is going to be nothing other than a long-running cessation. Well, I, I agree with you about whether we should be Great involved point. in this, but I, you know, you mm -hmm. never miss an opportunity to take a gratuitous slap at President Clinton. I, uh, dis and I despise I, him. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked to hear to you say you, that. But I think but, he looked pretty good you know, today. I think he made yeah, an he excellent made case good, to the American I'll people. Tell you what, and I think he's, he's ready to walk bag. the talk. And I, he is a great slime Why, why do you have to degenerate the conversation to that I don't level degenerate. of rhetoric? Why do you have I'm to do that? What the average dumb old American like me thinks. I mean, I okay, think you're more really, eloquent than that. I expect more from you than to use well, Dan Burton-like terms yeah, like he, that. That's he, not might be, he might be very, very smart, and so is McNamara. And look what he brought us. Vietnam, 400,000 casualties. What I well, want to let's know, look at the people who have the responsibility. We've got to wrap this up, so I've got to ask you one final How do we get out? 
Let's say we go in, let's say that bombing is successful. Then what do we do? Well, the thing that we have to do is to get rid of Slobodan Milosevic. There will not be I agree. any it is peace against our in the Balkans. We don't go after we have, leaders of other countries. Well, wait, wait, We're not we, the assassination. He's business. already gave a speech in, uh, in December where he told the, uh, the intelligence community that uh, Milosevic is much right. too expensive for us. Right. We, we right. need to build a democratic opposition and get rid of right. him. Congressman DeGuardi, good to see you. Thank you. We'll have you back, I'm sure, Great. as this whole story unfolds.